But it seems like now that MLR has got a little more traction uh, and, and, and it's moving upward. Would you agree with that? You know, I I think you're on you're on to something there, Scott. I mean, uh, to be sitting here right now, knowing that uh, you know, looking at 81's website and, and talking to some of those folks this week, right now they're projecting 32 guys already telling us that they're going to be there, wow. and that's a phenomenal number for me to be sitting and looking at Wichita, Kansas. Plus, you know, there's going to be more guys show up that that aren't even on the radar. So, to me, that says a lot about the race and a lot about the series. Yeah. Um, especially with a lot of guys, you know, if you want to run for points, you've obviously got to make this one long haul. And one of the downfalls in the last few years has always been that we've always had to go to the Salina High Banks. Uh, mm-hmm. It's a great facility. Love going down there. Yep. That's not on the schedule this year. So I think that being off the schedule really for a lot of the northern guys has kind of opened some things up and said, hey, you know, we can make this haul down here. If we can make this one haul to Wichita, the rest of the season is really not that bad as far as travel. And Travel is a huge part of this anymore, and right. uh, trying to get these guys roped in. And, and I think your other big thing, Scott, was starting out a season, everybody wants to get up in the MLRA points because they want that chance mm-hmm. at that provisional if they need it to get into that show-me-100 coming up at the end of May. I think this is going to be the, the most critical year for people that are going to tow or if they're going to choose to stay home and race around their local area because of the price of fuel. I mean, we've got to be really concerned about that. And not only that, we got to worry about some tires this year, too. We sure do. And, you know, you talk about the fuel, and that's one of the things that I think we're seeing a lot of excitement with the MLRA series. You know, it's not just this year, but the Winter Circle program that, that rewards uh, the drivers that come up and down the road with the MLRA series with fuel money at every venue. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so we've got 10 guys potentially this weekend that are going to pick up a check, an extra bonus check to help cover that gas. And then that's going to carry over to next weekend. As long as you keep top 10 in points and keep that perfect attendance going. Uh, that's not something that a lot of late model series outside of, you know, on a regional side do. So I think that's one thing that is attractive to some of the drivers. Uh, yeah. you know, there's some other things the series has done this year to try and take care of some guys and entice them to come. And, and I think that's, that's a big deal. And, you know, you talk about tires. I mean, it's, it's on everybody's mind right now. And I know mm-hmm. seeing the, the message that went out to the drivers earlier this week, each driver this weekend will be allowed to purchase two tires each night. And that's it. And that's, that's basically as long as they last. So, you know, if you end up with 40 or 45 cars, they may not last as long, but right. anything that's in our trailer that we've got from Hoosier to distribute, we have been strictly told that we are allowed to do no more than two. So this is sitting here in April. You know, you guys have talked about it. Where are we going to be in June and July? It's yeah. hard to say right now. Yeah, no doubt. That's when we have to worry about it the most is when we get to the heat of the summer and when tires start getting burned up, uh, we got to worry about that. I hope that we have plenty of tires when it comes to July 14th when you guys race out at I-70 Speedway. 